Hello all, welcome to another MSI product video with me, Jonas. Today we will be having a look at a brand new notebook from our, from our side. It is the PE70, it is part of the brand new P series and uh, as you can probably tell from the model name, the 70 is that is a 17.3 inch notebook and um, we will also have the PE60, which I don't have here for now, but uh, it is launched by the time you see this as well. And that is a 15.6 inch version, uh, pretty much the same, so they look very alike. And um, this is positioned for professional users, uh, people who edit uh, a lot of photos and video on the go, as well as uh, people who are enthusiastic about multimedia usage in general. Uh, so uh, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna tell you all about the PE70 or the P-Series. The main feature we have for professional editors is actually the screen on both this and the 15.6 inch version. Uh, it is, uh, we call it the true color screen uh, and we call it true color because this actually uh, fulfills 100% of the sRGB color space, meaning this is uh, what you really should have if you're doing a lot of photo editing and want your, uh, want your photos to come out exactly the way they do on the screen when they go to print or wherever you want them. So that is uh, pretty much the main feature, I can tell you. Uh, and we're using IPS panels on across the range. Uh, hideously expensive IPS panels, I can tell you. And we also have the true color profiles, uh, which means you have uh, five or six profiles. Let me check just quickly here um, if it loads. Uh, it is uh, disappeared. Six profiles in total uh, with different color profiles, uh, preset to the sRGB profile obviously so you can just start working and go to go to your photo editing or video editing or whatever as soon as possible once you unpack the PE70. Having a good screen is of course important but we also do have a bunch of other hardware meaning this is a pretty high-end uh, high-performing uh, notebook. Uh, for example we're using the Intel Core i7-4720HQ CPU which is uh, on par with the desktop i5-4690K CPU actually so it's a really really high performance CPU, even though it is in a pretty slim chassis like this of the PE60 and PE70. Uh, RAM wise, you can have uh, up to 16 gigs, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm, I am sure, and uh, one SSD, so obviously you don't want a new notebook without an SSD, so for to speed up your editing workflow, that is great as well. So uh, we got you covered there. Uh, also, for your multimedia needs, or even if you're editing with uh, CUDA acceleration, I'm uh, not sure if anyone actually does that anymore because I don't do much editing myself, but we do have the GTX 950M and 960M graphics from NVIDIA. Speaking of multimedia, uh, we do have a great sound solution in the P-Series, as we do with most our Amazon notebooks. Uh, we're using speakers from Dynodial, uh, as you might know, is a really well-known uh, speaker manufacturer, and the high-grade audio system in this comes with in the shape of a 2.1 channel audio system and we have two speakers in the front and one subwoofer uh, hidden down below and you can play plenty loud and first and foremost the sound is really crisp and clear so that's important to us as it probably is for you if you're watching a lot of movies or listen to music. Um, we're also using the Audio Boost 2 architecture which is uh, basically a high grade amplifier built in uh, with high grade uh, what are they called? Uh, audio capacitors and uh, the DACs all really high-end, uh, pretty expensive stuff inside so the audio experience should not let you down. Also the mic in and the headphone jacks are gold-plated. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, we do also have the Nahimic audio enhancer in this which means uh, it's, a, it's a software solution uh, from Nahimic and uh, you can pretty much modify the sound to your own liking. Um, so there's a lot of presets and stuff like that. But my favorite feature with the Nahimic Audio Enhancer is actually the uh, noise cancellation on the recording part. Meaning, if you're recording, say, a podcast, uh, it will automatically cancel the, the background noise, meaning you get a much better sounding podcast or recording in general, regardless of what you're actually recording. So a really great feature with the uh, Nahimic Audio Enhancer as well. Now, the screen, the CPU, the graphics, uh, the sound solution, it, it's all good and well, but if you can't use the computer, you're not gonna wanna, wanna have it, right? So what we got for you guys is, um, first and foremost, is a great big touchpad, which is, uh, re um, it's really nice to use. I, I like this, there's not too much resistance, there's not too little, 
So it's it's a good, like, what can I say? I'm not going to say average. That's a bad word to describe it. But it's, I don't want to say perfect either because this is our own product video. So I don't want to go too full on. But it, it is a great touchpad in my, my view. It is big. And the keys, uh, the, the, the keys for the touchpad are exactly where they should be. And uh, it is a synaptic one. So the drivers are working well with gestures, everything like that. So I have no complaints whatsoever with the touchpad. The keyboard itself uh, has a great tactile feel, uh, quite long strokes as well for uh, what looks like a really slim chiclet keyboard. But it is uh, also a really nice, nice feeling one. We do have white backlighting on it, I should mention. Uh, this sample does not because it's a pre-production sample. It has blue. I'm not going to show it to you, but it's going to come with white uh, for the retail one. And uh, one last thing uh, related to the keyboard is the shortcut manager software I'm showing to you on screen here. And this one is basically, you can create your own macros. This is a feature from our workstation notebooks. You can create your own macros and you can run them off a key press. So if you want, if you want to do a batch run of something in say Photoshop or Lightroom or Premiere or whatever software you're working in, uh, bind, create the macro, bind that to a key and you can simply just press whatever key you assign that to and you run your batch. And that is uh, something uh, special for our P series at the moment. Now that I've mentioned most of the P series features for you, I think I should go to the finer details such as the outputs. On the what is your right side, if when you're working on it, you have uh, the uh, SD card reader, you have one USB 2.0 port, and you have the optical drive. In this case, it's a Blu-ray uh, DVD writer combo, uh, as well as the power socket, obviously. At the front, there is uh, nothing except a bunch of LEDs indicating in the middle. Uh, and on your left side, when you're working on it, you do have the audio jacks, uh, two three and a half mil ones. Uh, we have uh, three USB 3 ports, USB 3.0, as well as one display port, one HDMI. And you can run, actually, you can run both of these simultaneously, uh, concurrently with the uh, built-in ones. So you can have three monitors in total, and you can run 4K, uh, at 60 hertz on the mini display port. You can also run 4K on the HDMI, but only at 30 hertz. Uh, but anything uh, below that, or yeah, 20 WQHD, you can run at 60 hertz from the HDMI as well. And as well as a LAN port and a Kensington lock. The backside, well, there's just two exhausts pretty much, as well as the prestige branding in the middle. The P-Series from us at MSI is launched pretty much now, which is by the end of April, which is when you probably see this. If you're looking at this later, hello. Um, the P-Series comes with the PE60, 15.6 inch, uh, and the PE70, which is this one, the 17.3 inch version. Uh, the 15.6 inch version will actually be available with a 4K screen later on, uh, which is going to be the 100% sRGB color space as well, uh, but for now it's the 1080p versions we're running here. Um, you can run external monitors, as I just mentioned, uh, two of them uh, concurrently with a built-in monitor. So if you're actually working a lot on the go and you come home, you can just plug this in on your desktop and you should be, yeah, you have more workspace to go on. And the multimedia solutions, we obviously have the GTX 950M and 960M graphics. Uh, we do have uh, the Dynodio sound. We do have uh, lots of processing power courtesy of Intel with the 4720HQ CPU, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, SSD. And uh, last but not least, I should mention our software solutions, which is the Nahimic Audio Enhancer, uh, which is great for especially recording. And uh, we do have the shortcut manager so you can run your macros. All in all, uh, the P series is pretty much a complete solution if you're uh, if you need a mobile workstation without the workstation graphics. So if you don't need the Quadro graphics, we would recommend one of the P series for you. With that said, I wish to thank you all for the uh, interest in our brand new P series. We wish to make it a success. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.